no other than Mahalakshmi in the second three nights. That I like to refer to as the reconstructive phase. Lakshmi Ma is seen as the embodiment of gentleness, harmony, and goodness. Once your house is symbolically, symbolically has been reconstructed, so to speak, then Lakshmi Ma blesses us with material wealth and the, but the most important is spiritual success. We can say that she does the painting of our home. She does the dressing up, the decoration in our home. And she does the beautiful landscaping so that when one comes, they can see the beauty of your home. How? Other than a beautiful home, your personality improves, my dear devotees. People around you want to be around you. People around you love you. And so, Lakshmi Ma blesses you also with perhaps the most important thing to attain or to have in order to enjoy your wealth. Not everyone who has that wealth can really say, I am enjoying my wealth. And so, she blesses us with what we call sadhana chatushtaha, the set of fourfold qualifications that man needs to develop or achieve. The first one is vivekaha. What is vivekaha? Vivekaha is the ability to discriminate the difference between satyam and mitya. Mitya is not totally untrue, but mitya does not stay the same for eternity. Mitya changes. Satyam stays the same for eternity. Ekam sat vipraha bahuda badanti. It is says that truth is one, but the wise call it by many names. Bhagavad Gita has a beautiful shloka in which brings out the type of truth that I'm actually talking about. And that truth is the understanding of my kaun who, who I am. That truth that I'm talking about. Understanding your true self. And that is, Najayate mriyate wa kadachin, Nayam bhutva bhavita wan bhuya, Ajo nitya shashvato yam purano, Nahanyate hanyamane sharire. That this Atman is neither born nor die, it does not come into being and ceasing to be, do not take place. It is unborn, constant, and ancient. It is not killed when the body is slain. That type of truth I am speaking about, to understand your true self, your true identity, the essence of your true being, so to speak. The final three nights I refer to as the three nights of revelation. It is dedicated to Saraswati Ma, the goddess of knowledge, learning, music, and fine arts. She is seen playing the veena, the sitar as we know it, and like this, beautiful string instrument, it can only give off that sweet and melodious music if the strings are properly tuned. Likewise, we also have to be properly tuned. Our reasoning skills of discrimination must be there. Our willpower must be Form. Our emotions must be controlled and our actions must be pious and righteous. 
Only when Mother Saraswati blesses us with these qualities, then only we can experience the divine melody of self-realization. These nine nights of Navratri celebrations is to awaken you from the slumber of sleep, laziness, and inertia to the destruction of hate, aversion, greed, etc. For us to cultivate these Daiwik Sampat, the divine qualities, and finally enlightenment. Sri Adyashakti Durga Ma is our mother. She is the universal mother for each and every one of us in this world. And so, let us pray that when we also think about the Lord, that she will also be there for us in this wonderful prayer. Apat sumagnam smaranam twadiyam karormi durge karunar nadeshi naitachya tatvam mama bhava yeta shudhar trisharatim jananim smarantim It says that, O Ma, we are your children. We do not remember you all the time. But, O Ma, whenever we have difficulties, you do come to our rescue in a hurriedly manner. So, O Ma, may you always be there to protect us and to guide us. With these few words, devotees, I come to a close. Prem Sri Yaj Shakti Durga Maharani Ki Jai.